Yeah. Of time. So like right now, this isn't even being uh, seen. We're not even. We're not even. We're not watching this. Yeah. Who's just, watching this? He's doing all that crap. I'm just standing. Who right is here. watching this? Are you watching this? I'm not. Are you? you better be watching. I'm not. Okay. I was just watching you watch. I was just hoping. I'm just, I'm just hoping for them to watch it. You think they're actually gonna watch it? Probably not. No. <laughs> Okay, let's just sit here for one second. Hi, everyone. Oh, yeah. Okay. Three, two, two. one. Hey! Hey, what's going on, everybody? What's up? It's Chris. And Kenny. And this is the Chris. And Kenny. Show. Oh, welcome back. Welcome it's back. Always good to have you. Yes. Yes, you. Even though it's probably, you're probably thinking that it's not good to have us right now, but we really don't hey, care. Too, too bad. Exactly. You know, you're here, you might as well stay a while. Exactly. You know, take your shoes off, take your jacket off, do whatever you want, get naked if you want to. Well, if you want to. No, I mean, we can't see you, so it really doesn't matter. That's <laughs> <right>. <laughs> All right, this is our, uh, what is this, our third? Our third, our third installment, yeah. Third, uh, third official video. Yeah. And uh, today we are actually going to talk about um, something that's, um, I would say it's near and dear to our hearts. Yes, it is. Absolutely. Um, we are coming up, we are going to be in a uh, show, in mm -hmm. a play, um, the first three weekends of November. Three weekends. Three weekends. Three weekends. You have plenty of time to come see it. Friday, Saturday, mm -hmm. Sunday. That's yes. the weekend. That's right. It'll start on November 7th, mm -hmm. and it'll run all the way to November 23rd. 23rd, yes. 23rd. I'm not sure why I keep doing that. I have no idea. <laughs> I'm doing the exact same thing, so it really doesn't matter. So, um, the show is called The Night of January 16th. Mm -hmm. This is a very good show. It is a courtroom drama. And the reason that it is near and dear to us is that one, I'm, I am an actor, um, went to school for theater performance with a concentration in acting. Yay. Um, but um, it's really awesome that it's a show that we're both in because this is the first time since high school that we have actually had right. dialogue between the two yeah. of us. And high school was a while ago. We graduated in 2001. 2001. Yeah. 13 years. Yeah. It's been 13 years. It's been a long time ago. Parkland, gotta represent Parkland. Yeah. And Mustangs. Not really. Yeah. Yeah, whatever. I'm trying to get enthusiastic. Yeah, right. you, you can go yeah. ahead and do that. Lottie freaking the uh, LFD. Yeah. Um, so, Kenny, why don't you tell us about your, um, first of all, tell us if you can remember what the show is about. <laughs> if not, I will tell them what the show is about. Well, and, um, obviously, something happened on the night of January, January 16th. 16th. I play Homer Herbert Van Fleet. It's a private investigator. Oh, all right. Yeah. Yeah. One of the witnesses. All right. Very cool. And, um, yeah, I mean, I get to be interviewed by this guy here. And, um... That's great, you know, I am loving it so far. I've never done a courtroom drama at all. So um, I've actually been on a jury in real life, not in a show, in real life, actually. I got to serve for three days in real life, so that was really cool. How was that? And um, it was all right. Really? Did yeah, you enjoy it? I did. Did you get yeah, I, I seriously did enjoy it. It was very interesting to learn what all goes on, you know, and blah, 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 weights and balances, you know, what, yada, yada, yada. Hmm. But it was really cool, though, oh, I must admit. It was, it was really interesting. But um, I'm very excited to uh, be doing this show. For everyone, and uh, I'm excited to be part. You know, to be right. I'm just sitting. Well, not sitting. I'm sitting. You're not sitting. But well, to right be now, there, I'm like, sitting. But well, we are too. We're we're both sitting. Yeah. But later on in the show, later on in the show is what I was getting at. <laughs> but it's cool to have actual dialogue know, between the two of us. You know, oh, wow. seeing as how we're both actors and everything, we might as well have lines together. You know. Yeah. Considering we've been in two shows already, and we. The only thing that we had were yeah. awkward, awkward glances toward one another. Yeah, I, gl I, gl I, uh, I glance. <laughs> That's exactly what I do. I glanced over at his, uh, glanced over at his knees and smiled, and he turned away, and that was it. That was it. So. But then also, in, um, we did Welcome to Medford, and actually, we yeah. actually, um, we actually formed an on-stage friendship, you know, <laughs> because. I was one of you were the principal of the school was. of uh, the main character who was a who was a young boy, mm -hmm. and uh, I was actually a member of what they called the Turkey Club. It was a uh, bunch of guys that sat at the same table at the same diner every week, and they became known as the Turkey Club. And oh, we actually good. and we actually um, formed an on stage the principal and Mule, one of the guys of the Turkey Club, formed an on because wherever we always. 
it was in the it was in a town and they actually had people walk across stage you know to get that town feeling and that's what we did we walked across stage and we pretended to talk and sometimes we actually did talk about absolutely nothing <laughs> not a thing i think we literally did just this we pantomimed it you know well actually he actually took a selfie video I of us <laughs> on stage yeah. talking and it was yeah. uh, absolutely one night i kind of held my phone out right here and i actually captured a whole video of me and chris here just <laughs> that was it. That was that was it. No words were said out loud. It was all just pantomime. Exactly. But it was it was a fun time though. We had fun. But anyway, enough about Midford. This is not January sixteenth. Exactly. Exactly. And now, Chris, you can explain a little bit more about your character. All right. Well, I play um, defense attorney Stevens. Yeah. And I am. Uh, first of all, if you don't know, the night of January sixteenth is a show that was written by a woman called Ayn Rand. Mm -hmm. Um. And the show is about a woman who was convicted of killing her lover, who is a uh, Bernie Madoff type character, mm -hmm. set in 1936 in a New York City courtroom. I play the defense attorney, and I am defending the woman who is um, accused of, mur of murder. And like he says, I get to interview this strapping young man sitting next to me. <laughs> um, and it's it's an awesome. It's an awesome show, you know. It, it really is. I remember, I, I remember reading the synopsis. I actually looked on because I was torn between mm -hmm. Time to Kill and Night of January Sixteenth, mm -hmm. and I read, I read the synopsis of January Sixteenth, and I was like, Oh my God! I have mm -hmm. so got to. Uh, this is the play I'm auditioning for. This is the play I want to be in. Yeah. Um, I really didn't think I was gonna get. I thought I was gonna get one of the witnesses, but they were like. Do you want to be the defense attorney? And you're like, okay. yeah. Oh, yeah. Is that even a question? I mean, serious. Exactly. The defense attorney. Hello. Exactly. And um, I I read the script and I just thought, oh my god, you know, they must really have a lot of faith in me. Mm -hmm. And it's just the district attorney, uh, Caitlin Stafford, who is an mm -hmm. awesome actress, she's an amazing performer. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, she comes into Rehearsal and she's already got the the defense attorney attitude down. I was like, <laughs> last night she came in. I said, good evening, madam prosecutor, and she looked at me. Yeah, she, she like, just gave you the evil glance. She's like, don't talk to me. Cold. Don't look at me. Don't talk to me. There were icicles coming off of her. <laughs> exactly. It's a wonder I didn't. My gut didn't start smoking. Yeah, she seriously. was burning a hole through me. Yeah, it's ridiculous. <laughs> um, but she's a she's a great performer. She's doing a great job as a DA. Yeah, she really is. Um, like I say, he's uh. He's the private investigator. He is a witness to a, a supposed witness to the supposed. Well, he is a witness to the supposed murder. Mm -hmm. I know what I saw. Yeah, so he says. I I have my doubts. We won't go into much detail, but yeah, I know what I saw. If you if you wanna if you wanna find out what happens and what he saw, come see the show. Just come on, come on down. Exactly. We'd love to have you. No, yeah, we would. Um, it's you could even be in the jury if you want. You could. That is one. Of, to be honest, if I did not get. Uh, get a part in this show. I was mm -hmm. still wanted to come and see it because they actually take people from the audience. You, you people, you people that are watching this video right now. Mm -hmm. They take you, you, and they actually call your name, and you can be on stage as part of the jury. You don't have any lines. No. You just have to. You just get a better seat mm -hmm. to the show. And, and you, that's a good you're way on the stage with the actors. I mean, that's exactly. pretty cool. And that's a good way to think of it. You've got a better seat in the house than anybody else that's in the that's in the house. Not too many theaters do that. Exactly. And one of the um, and one of the cool things is that if they call your name and you do not want to be a part of the jury, you can actually just say, "I decline." Uh, I decline the right to be a part of the jury. You don't have to. You don't We're have not to. Be. Pulling your leg here. Exactly. We're not breaking your arm. Exactly. I mean, you know, that might happen later on. No. <laughs> no, it won't. It won't. We promise. We promise. But that, like I said, that is one of the coolest things about the show is that they actually take people from the audience to be part of the jury. Mm -hmm. So any, any, I mean, if you don't know anything about this show, it doesn't matter. If you don't know anybody in the cast and you just want to come and see the show, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. If you don't know anything about you know the court system at all, it doesn't matter. Exactly. Come on down. Exactly. And it's at Stained Glass Playhouse. On Indiana Avenue. On Indiana Avenue. Indiana and it's, uh, it's the sale. 
It's part of uh, Mar Marvin United Methodist Church. That's right. And uh, it's uh, this is my first show at um, Stained Glass, and I've been wanting to do them for a while. Mm -hmm. This is my first show. Uh, how many, uh, what? Uh, I think this is the sixth show I've done at the wow. Stained Glass Playhouse over okay. my years of theatrical experience. Very cool. So I'm very happy to be a part of the show, and I can't wait to see you there. Uh, I can't wait to see you there, and I can't wait to see you there. I'm. I'll be there. I, I will. Yeah, you're part of the show, so you have to. Be so there. are you? Yeah, I have to be. Can't wait too. to see you there. Um, another thing that we're gonna do—that was our shameless plug. That's right. <laughs> is uh, a couple weeks before that, um, Theater Alliance is actually doing Carrie the Musical. Yes, they are. And um, that is actually—it's it opens this weekend and it uh, runs this weekend mm -hmm. and all next week and even on Halloween, mm -hmm. which is a per that is a good Halloween date. It is. We should go. I think we should. Okay. Costumes and all. It's a date. It's a date. All right. Oh, I get that. I get that. I I see, on see, things are happening here, people. Exactly. Things can happen for you too. And you know, if you don't, if you don't want to, if you don't have anything to do, you don't want to pass out candy. You know, go see Carrie. I mean, that is a perfect. That is a perfect Halloween. You, you know what I show. do? You know what I do sometimes during Halloween. What? I might, you know, buy a whole bunch of candy. You know, think I'm gonna, you know, give it out to the little kitties or whatever, and. Uh, it doesn't quite happen. I have so much of a sweet tooth, I kind of keep it all for myself. Sounds good to me. So if you want to do that, keep all the candy to yourself and come see a show, hey. Throw candy on stage after They'd the love show. to have it. Oh, that's a good that's a, Just pelt on with three C's <laughs> and Tootsie Roll and Tootsie Pops. That'd be awesome. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Um, so yeah, that show, like I said, um, opening night, I think, is Friday night. This Friday night, October 24th. Mm -hmm. And it runs all next week. Um, until uh, November 2nd, mm -hmm. I, as, as, if my memory serves me right. I think so. And uh, yeah, I mean, like I said, that's a perfect Halloween date. I mean, you know, you don't want to pass out candy to kids or you don't have anything to do on Halloween. Go see that, especially if you're a fan of the, of the, of the, of the movie. The movie, yeah, and of Theater Alliance. Exactly. That's a really good uh, stage they got there. It's yeah, a, yeah. It's a really awesome house. It is. You'll, there's not a bad seat in that house. Right? No, there's not. Um, another another show that uh, that is coming up is actually a Time to Kill, which is at Twin, Twin City Stage. It's also in Winston Salem. Exactly. It's actually running the exact same time that um, Night of January Sixteenth is. Exactly. Opens the exact same night, but it runs one week shorter. Mm -hmm. So they're only running for two weekends. Sure. Our show is running for three weekends. Mm -hmm. However, huh? our show does not have a Thursday performance. Mm -hmm. Theirs does. There's the uh, theirs is seventh, eighth, ninth, and then it will be the thirteenth, fourteenth, fifteenth, and sixteenth. Mm -hmm. So that is the first two weekends of November. Ours is the first three weekends of November. That's right. Twin City Stage has Thursday performances. Our show does not have Thursday performances. <laughs> Time to kill. First two weekends with Thursday performances, mm -hmm. night of January 16th, mm -hmm. three weekends mm -hmm. with no Thursday performances. But we do have a matinee on Sunday, and it starts at three instead of two. Ah. So we have plenty of time to go to church, go out to eat afterwards, some time to relax, and then come see the show. Okay. And just to be clear, of time. Uh, time to Kill at Twin City Stage, their matinees are at 2 p.m. on Sundays. Dos. So Time to Kill, let's do this again. Okay. First two weekends of November, Thursday shows, mm -hmm. 2 p.m. Sunday matinees, 2, 2 p.m. Our show, mm -hmm. night of January 16th, three weekends in November, no Thursday performances, and 3 p.m. matinee. Three. Oh, I think that's the timer. That's all the time we have today, folks. I'm sorry. Uh, we decided that we're gonna do 14 to 15, 15 to 20 minutes. So that, that is the timer right there. It's been 15 minutes. It's been fun. It has been fun. We hope you've learned something, and we hope to see you soon. We hope to see you soon. And go check out all the other shows, not just our shows, but Time to Kill at Twin City Stage and Carrie the Musical at Theater Alliance. So until next time, peace, guys. Peace.